are going to Boston today, uh, Faneuil Hall Square. We're gonna go on the duck tour. Is it called a duck tour? Yep. Yep, we're gonna go on a boat ride. Look at our crew. Two cars today. Hi, Malika. Everyone said hello. She, she, she's a grumpy, tired, and this is what I love about this big car. We can see a lot of people. All right, we'll feel you, so, uh, show you a, a view of Boston. Nika, why are you whispering? Um, to the left, to the left. left. Yep, left lane. Seventy three, right? Seventeen, A B. Yeah, right here. Oh yeah, you're right. Boston is confusing. Keep right. Exit seventeen. Right, keep right. Left turn. This is not the wa underwater there, tunnel. No. I, I think this is. Hey. Yeah. In two tenths of a mile, left turn onto John F. Fitzgerald Surface Road. Okay. Into Boston we go right there, Faneuil Hall. That's where we're heading at. Heading it now. Da, 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 da. This is Malika. Boat ride is at 5.30. It's 1.30 now, so we're gonna go get something to eat, walk around, hang out. This is awesome. I'm so glad to see this. We haven't seen this in a long time since COVID. Hold on, you guys. Wait, let me get you guys from the front. Hello, Mila. Hello, Tulida, Malika. That's my team. That's dad. Big Mat Ming. Yeah, we have a lot of kids with us, so a bathroom break is always a nice break. Okay, I need to go also. Yeah. See what the kids want to eat. Lobster? 
Yeah, it's a grab and go. Oh, my mình, bam, mình lên đi với nhỉ, quỳ đi với nhỉ. Okay, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, Malika, look at dinosaur. Look at dinosaur. Malika, ấy ra Mà mình, đang quỳ lên nhỉ. Dinosaur. This is Quincy Market. We grabbed the big, a uh, quick bite. And now we're just killing some time. Here's my people. There's my people. There, my people. Where's Titus? And not Titus, oh. What is? Yeah, 10 out of 10, I like that. Because it, how, you don't get that walk in the Freedom Trail. But guys, my name is Tony Baloney. And I'm gonna be a conductor this afternoon. Or if you prefer, your conductor. I hope that's what you prefer, because that's the level of joke you guys are getting for the next six to eight hours. I saw my next door neighbor. He was making pasta. And before he put the spaghetti in the pot, he broke it in half. That's assault, sister. So I go to the police station to tell them what I see, and uh, this is tough for me to talk I say that for two reasons. One, I think it's funny. Two, I like to see what my Philly fans are. They usually throw a snowball at me. I'm like, how'd you get that in your line? You know? Uh, so the first, we're an old place. A lot of things happen for the first time. or invented here. As we go through the city, I'll tell you that. And the fun, guys, we're getting chauffeur-driven in a seven-ton, what would you say, orange truck? Named Commonwealth Curly, that is going to be a truck, then a boat, then a truck again. And also, quite frankly, I'm adorable. So let's see a bandstand on your right. That is where Martin Luther King gave a civil rights speech in 1965. And I didn't know this. Martin Luther King Jr. got his doctorate from Boston University in theology. And he actually met Coretta Scott King in Boston. And when he found out he won the Nobel Peace Prize, right, he has a very iconic photo. It's called the Embrace. It was just broke ground. They're going to put a statue of the Embrace in, in Boston Common. Right, it's beautiful in there, too. So this 
this uh, Bloomer Theater right here to your left, that is where Chris Rock made his first public performance after the slap heard around the world. <laughs> it was great. Dude, it was crazy down here. You couldn't even get there. Look, there was a world media here, all right? Here we are. So that was, the Oscars was on a Sunday. He was here on a Tuesday. The tickets were going for like a buck twenty-five, hundred twenty-five bucks, but people were scalping them. They were scalping them for over a thousand dollars because like, ooh, what's Chris Rock gonna say? What's Chris Rock gonna say? He didn't say anything. He well, he did this. He walked out on stage and he goes, "So how was your weekend?" And that was it. <laughs> so listen, uh, who flew in from another by Boston? Look at all this green space we have. We're downtown right now. We're downtown. So you have Boston Common, all right, 1634. You have Boston Public Garden, 1837. This is the oldest public botanical garden in the country. Now, here's a quick question, a little literary question. I usually only get, th uh, my average is probably about two and a half people on every tour. I think I've had a high of about seven and a low of zero a few times. Has anybody on this duck read just our behind He's at the beautiful, they just planted, they just planted some palm trees in the public garden. And like, there's a misnomer about that statue. See how he has one hoof up in the air? They say when you have a military statue like that right there and you have one hoof up in the air, that means you were injured during battle. I have researched everything I can. Two, he lost two of his horses and they say he yeah, had I'm glad some. you said that. I love you. And it doesn't look like Trinity any other buildings Church around here. In Boston. Now guys, another place for free. And I want to try to show you all the cheap and free things to do than cheap. I did the math. And it sounds like funny. Go to the library. This is Boston Public Library. Oh, a library, Tony Baloney. How exciting, yeah. guys. They have sculptures in there. They have art in there. Books. They got books for these. They got the second largest collection of books next to the Library of Congress in D.C. Free to go into. Also free, by the way, free to go into. Right here, the New Old South Church. It's the oldest congregation in the city. And if you don't return your books, by the way, they put your name right up there. Actually, good. look at the top right, far top right name, Shakespeare. What I love about it, some MIT egghead was doing it. This now, is the Massachusetts the State House. 1989, Denzel Washington's Boston. Best Supporting Actor. That's where that you'll see that statue in the end credits. So this is our new State House, guys. 1795, the new one. That's pretty funny right there. That's when the cornerstones were laid by Paul Revere and Sam Adams. Now coming up on your left, you're going to see a statue of what looks like a very sad woman texting. Florence Nightingale? No, Mary died. I'm just saying, that's what it looks like. She is not texting. But if she were texting, I believe it would read this. Man, I sure hope the Puritans don't hang me in Boston Common just because I'm a different religion than they are. JK, LOL. Because that's exactly what happened. That is Mary Dyer. She was hanged. Self-explained. Any San Francisco on board today? I can take it. All right. This is the Museum of Science. Black Shaw, you're staying with me all day. I appreciate it. Museum of Science, world class science museum. They got a Van de Graaff electric elevator right here. 90 pounds or more. Red tabs, 90 pounds or less. Should we need to exit the vehicle? Out the sides, out the sides, out the sides. We're going in the water. Down, rear roof comes back. I got a life ring to the front. I got a life ring to the rear. I got a fire extinguisher to the front. I got a fire extinguisher to the rear. And really, the only thing that's super important Captain Rick, licensed Coast Guard captain. We are in great hands. And we're ready to go in, kids. We're going to go halfway down the ramp. We are going to engage the propeller, all okay, right? Stay still. We're going to turn off the headlights, turn on the navigational lights. We are going to honk the horn, and we're going in, everybody. Woo! That's good stuff, guys. Yeah! Let's go right here. Quack, quack. Quack. Good, dude. I love this. This boat came in this morning. This is a Museum of Science again. When this boat goes through the lock, that's the only boat going through the lock, baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get a little sun right here, kids. A little color on us today. Arizona's cool with it. There you go. It's a dry heat. That's what you guys always try to sell us on. No, oh, no, you're going to love it. It's a dry heat. It's 2,000 oh. degrees. I don't yeah. care how dry oh, it is. All right, oh, guys. Uh, okay. Now, I'd say I don't know how this works, but I know exactly how this works. Captain Rick's Union. All right. Say hi, He's going to take his break right now. It's the union rules. You can't fight, you know. You can't fight big company, big company, you know. So Captain Rick's going to take a break right now. Take a break right now. There's somebody, anybody on this duck that thinks they can help Captain Rick drive the duck right now. Somebody move on here right now. He loves Tony Baloney. He'll come by. Don't worry. Wow, that's so I cool. see him dump a couple times. Woo! Ready to push wagon. Hey, yo! Woo! Love 
the deck. Who's having more fun than that guy? We are. Hey guys, let me ask you something. I always ask people, when he comes around, I didn't need to talk about history, right? We just want to watch that, right? That is amazing to me. Hey, Harper, wait. Harper, you're doing great. Look, at turn around, Harper. Look over here. Now, ready? Check this out, ready? Before you get out of here, though, let's get this sticker. And is there any boats that wanted to drive that didn't get a chance? All right, can I get you on the other side? We're gonna he has to get through the, through the locks right there. But if there's somebody else wants to go, let me know now and I'll get you on the other side. I will talk about this way. Right all these buildings right here, this is Massachusetts General Hospital, all right? This is the largest employer in the city of Boston. Wow. 30,000 paychecks go out of there MTA. every week. Yep. MTA. Medical first Mass over there. Med it was the first uh, x-ray wing was over there. That's why I see what's coming. First x-ray wing was over there. The first... Um, the successful livery attachment was done at Mass General Hospital, and this is the most important one. First documented use of ether in a surgery. That was 1846. Before that, here was the surgery. Here's a bottle of whiskey. Here's a belt to lay down on. Enjoy your surgery. So right here, and I always read about this, and it makes sense. Surgeries never used to happen before that because people just they go into shock and die. Yeah. Hey, like yeah, that makes total sense. Turn on your air you ever see like, like there's always like those Civil War movies where like ah we're hanging your leg off and it's just the 1970s. There was only one worse letter grade. We're getting the front wheels going right now. That's all that is right now. There was one worse one worse letter grade, and that was to the Cuyahoga River in Cleveland, and I got a grade of F, as in flammable. Oh, their river lit on fire sun. twice. Yes, their yeah, river lit because the pollutants lit on fire. Now, we were no good chicks. There was a band from the 60s called the Scandellas. They were from San Diego. And they're the ones that penned, I love that dirty water. Now, how dirty your water going to be when a band from 3,000 miles away sings a song about dirty water? But thanks to the Charles River Conservancy, you can't wait. Wait. You see what I did? Click. I turned off the radio. Go back on land. That was quick. Lang Lang Lang. So we're just going right. to turn off the... Uh, we're going to turn off the navigational lights. Turn on All the right. headlights. Back on land. Disengage the front wheels of our truck. How smooth is this guy? Captain Rick, everybody. Woo! Not See, this seat parks open from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. You can bring anything non-mechanical there. What's up, guys? I want to talk about the Battle of Bunker Hill for a few minutes. I'm going to try and make it as interesting as I can. It is very interesting. The tower of Bunker Hill. And then I'll tell you guys where to get the best canolas. All right? That a deal? I think that's a good deal. All right? I know. Believe me. I've been doing this. I've been doing this a long time. And I know... I mean, I can do my best pull river, and then it just wait, you know, you guys have been Another boat going in the water. I, get dinner, but I know what's going on, and I just see it, and then I go, and anyway, this is where they get the best canola. Buena scotch over budget, all right? It was budget, Tip O'Neill, who's the Speaker of the House during the Ronald Reagan administration, he helped get the money, two and a half billion dollars, all right? It went up to 14 and a half billion dollars. Guys, with interest going to cost the city of Boston 23 and a half billion dollars. But thanks to nice tourists like you, we're going to see all that money come back in. All right, let's get our bearings. That's very fun, by the way. I love to see the kids get lit up when it goes down and pops them. Again, you have told you about my sensibility. All right, guys. So 10 minute walk that way, Chinatown, right from the street. Yeah, so Chinatown, 10 minute walk that way. Dumplings for days. I love the dumplings there. Now on the street, you see the aquarium, you see where you're at. Uh, eight minute walk that way, North End. All right, now I'll give you one more that I talk about the North End. That Marriott Long Wharf, that hotel, cross the street on the other side of the hotel and that'll take you right to Quincy Market, Hanover, Hanover to where it's Hanover and Salem, and you will hit Bova's Bakery. Bova's Bakery is wonderful. Uh, they have Italian wraps there, eight or nine bucks, not gonna break your bank, they'll heat them up and you can walk around and that's the best way to get around the city. Also for 24 hours, also they take credit card over $10, which nobody does that anymore. All right, All right. Here. here we're gonna leave the dock, all right? Captain Rick. We wrap up our duck tour and a little tour of Boston. Now we're going to drive 40 minutes back to Lowell.